Hey everyone, it's Pat from Bad Dev Music. Thank you very much for another great comment and another suggestion. Comment as many things as you can this month. We're trying to put out as many videos as I could physically do before surgery. Now, the song we're checking out today is Corn's Falling Away From Me. I'm gonna show you the cool sort of vibey intro. Maybe I'll tell you what effects to use as well if you wanna try and match that album sound. And I'll show you the main sort of heavy riff that's featured throughout the song. Now, the one thing you need to know is you're not gonna sound as heavy as Corn uh, unless you've got a seven string guitar that's tuned down. So I think the thickest string, the seventh string, if you can imagine another string up here, is tuned all the way down to A. So it's very, very low. And of course the bass doubles a lot of the riff as well. So that gives it so much power. So when you first hear that riff, you're like, whoa, it sounds massive. That's why. Two guitars plus a bass, very, very detuned, uh, playing those chunky riffs. But I'll show you a way that you can play the riffs so you don't have to change your tuning and I'll show you the intro right now. If you've got any other suggestions, leave a comment below and we'll try and get through as many as we can. Now diving right on in, if you're using one finger, you'd be sliding all around the place. So I'm gonna show you how I would do it with multiple fingers, but then if you just wanna have a look at the tab, you can teach yourself how to play it with one finger. So you'd start off with the, your pinky on the 15th fret of the second string, then drop down a string and play the 13th fret then the 12th fret. So what we got so far. Then you play the 13th fret on the B string, second string. Then you play the 14th fret string up on the G string. Then you play all the way down to the 12th fret on the thin E string. Now the reason why I was using those particular fingers is you don't have to move position. You don't have to move your hand whatsoever. So it might be a little bit tricky to play to begin with, especially using your pinky and going all the way up with your third finger on the 14th fret of the G string. But that's how I would play it because you don't need to move sort of that shape. You can just stay in that area. You don't have to fly around with one finger. But if you want to play with one finger, you definitely can. Now how you would get that sort of uh, eerie effect is I've got a tremolo pedal and a chorus pedal activated on a clean tone. So that what the tremolo pedal does is it makes the sound go like this, like up and down, up and down, up and down. It doesn't change in pitch. It's almost like you've got your volume control and you're turning your volume up and down, up and down, up and down. Like that sort of a thing, but it does it for you automatically. And it's got a chorus that brings it sort of a little bit of a, that vibey sound as well. But that's how I would do that clean part. So once you've got that first part, there's a second part, but there's only a slight difference. So again, pinky, 13th, 12th, 13th on the B string, 14th all the way up on the G string, third finger, then 12th on the first string, then upper string, 12th on the B string. That's it, so part one, Part two. And that's it, that's that clean sort of haunting melody. That's the whole thing. Let's switch to distortion and check out the next uh, heavy riff. Good job. All right, so make sure you've got a lot of distortion for the next section. I'll show you one finger and then a power chord as well. So you, you would use your first finger on the fifth fret of the D string. Then you would jump up two strings and play that fifth fret. And you play it twice. Now, if you want to make it sound a little bit heavier, use your third finger and make a power chord and do the same thing. But again, if you want to make it sound as heavy as the record, seven string guitar, tune all the strings down one or two steps. You've got a seventh string for A, but you can definitely use those chords to play along with the song. But that's it, have fun playing the melody, have fun playing those chunky riffs. Any other suggestions, leave a comment below. If you wanna learn more music theory or songwriting, head over here. And if you wanna learn more practical and sort of riffs and things, head over here. Any other questions, send me a message on my Facebook or my Instagram. I'll see you all again very soon.